Howdy. Straight line or parallel lines. So in this video, we will look at Scotland, Northern England, and Ireland. And that will be it for this video. It might take a while though, because I want to give a nice thorough going over, a good uh, in depth look at these places. And let's start off with Ireland and then work our way up to England and then we'll end with Scotland. All right, so Google Earth Professional. This is, this is Ireland. Let's turn our place marks on. And start at the bottom here. So these are, this is that, where that still image is of. So we have these patchy linear scarrings or trajectories or vehicle vehicle paths or whatever this is. Hmm. Could be any number of things uh, in terms of conventional explanations. Certainly uh, I'm just giving you a decent look at it so you can have a good feel for it and I will take you around the surrounding area as well. We also have like little stuff like this like peripheral um, features like this right here. See this linear feature right there? It doesn't really make sense as a conventional maneuver in my opinion. I'm like a modern project. It's just kind of a lone line right here. Um, see that that's why I think it's all just kind of gibberish patterns more or less. Um, this line as well. Dirt to dirt to dirt, dirt to dirt, and then just kind of peters out or maybe faintly continues. I pretty much lost it by that point though. Um, and some faint indications of parallel stuff going on here. It's basically the whole landscape. Um, yeah. And obviously it's more pronounced in some spots than others. But I think this is a, this is a pretty decent example of artificial goofness. Don't you think? So here's more of it over here, standing up here as well. Uh, so yeah, just this, like f right in this area, this is a good example of how the entire landscape is kind of faintly affected by this. Um, and I say entire, but that might be an exaggeration. It might just be parts of it or a whole bunch of it. But even like you see these faint angular things here, uh, so it's, it's a lot it's over here too. The place mark here, uh, just more of the worked over ch -ch 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 something or other that I suspect is not conventional in nature. Um, either not done by conventional means or not done for conventional purposes or potentially in some strange way done both for conventional purposes and for uh, weird deception purposes or some something like that. But you see these lines going everywhere, herk a -derk. And yeah, pretty cool. So I don't know if I gave a good look at this. Let's look back in the historical photos. See if any changes have occurred. 18. So 2003. Mm. It's not giving us, well, there we go. So this is 2003 apparently, and it's basically looked the same since then at least. Um, and obviously it would be more informative to have a look further back but we may not get that. But no real changes in recent years. 
So just angular chunkiness. Do we see any like vehicle tracks? You know what I mean? Like tractor tracks or tire tracks? Uh, I'm not necessarily seeing any. Yeah, it's just uh, goofness. Goofness. And um, I mean, yeah, all the topical videos I'm making, like in this little mini series, the various types of anomalies, um, they overlap quite a bit. Like I've said, like we, we could have put this in the strange patterns episode or in the long straight lines episode because what there's this guy and then uh, even out of place channels. Um, but yeah, we have some sets of parallel lines here. So that's why I put it here. It's just kind of goofy trajectories. Uh, little blotchy patches of parallel lines. Okay, so let's zoom out and get our bearings here. I didn't actually spend much time on Ireland. I'm sure we could find more of that stuff elsewhere. Um, potential stone walls. Um, that was just a random zoom, but I won't waste too much time on that. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get lucky. But I do have more place marks in Ireland, so I will show you those. So let's... Um, mosey on up here so this is basically the same look as what we were just looking at or a very similar look um, kind of like see these uh, almost like the land was laid down like tiles I'm not I don't think that's what happened but it has that kind of look to it uh, these large-scale uh, chunky parallel yeah, almost like tiles, um, like this, these in uh, somewhat haphazard arrangements and patterns with some aspect of parallelism to it. And then obvious modern human stuff going on, but I'm saying this is like underlying previous uh, patterns. More of the angular stuff. So it's a pretty large area that's affected. Yeah, these are pretty interesting, these angular, what, whatchamacallits. More of it, more of it. And some parallel lines here. And no real rhyme or reason to it, which is why I lean towards a, a gibberish type um, explanation. Although something I watched today, a video um, on Quantum of Conscience channel speculating that uh, a lot of stuff is done to discredit the truther community, like the seekers are deliberately fed bad or weird information so that they look like n nutcases. So I wonder if um, the reason uh, the reason there's like gibberish everywhere and also permeating architecture and archaeology is that uh, it's done to discredit or at least in part done to discredit the seekers among us who uh, strive to find the truth like so they just print out some some garbage like like all this stuff and then uh, and then people like you and me get all interested and we start talking about it <laughs> and then uh, that halts us in our uh, progress in life because now we're uh, we're out on the fringe and we can't be accepted in certain circles, which is necessary 
or which would be necessary for moving forward in life, um, especially in like the money department and stuff. Like people don't want to work with people who are too weird, you know, because it'll make them look weird. They just people just don't want to be weird by association because that can mess with their own life and their own ability to meet their needs and get the resources they need and that's perfectly understandable certainly um but yeah just considering the possibility that all, all the gibberish we're seeing has at least a partial purpose of um discrediting the people who find it and talk about it <clears throat> if that made sense hopefully it did and i'm just looking for other place marks I got distracted because I was talking. Um, these parallel streaks, they're fairly clean. Um, I mean, I could see that being natural. I say that sentence a lot <laughs> because it's true. I could see this being like natural geological layers or something like that. Any number of things. Multiple orientations of that. Like even here, it's like uh, at an angle, it seems like. Um, and here we have some kind of parallel thing going on this way, along this direction. Um, yeah, that would be the same as this, I guess. So, I'm not super confident about this, but it just should be considered in this parallel lines discussion as a point of reference. And I should note that I'm well aware that uh, there's many, many different things which can create um, an, a, a pattern of parallel lines. So there's many different uh, down-to-earth conventional um, modern techniques and purposes which might lead to the appearance of parallel lines on the surface of the earth, as well as many different methods for uh or many different uh explanations for like the strange strangeness possibility like the uh, the unconventional explanations so just because a set of lines looks similar to another set of lines doesn't mean it was created in the same way i guess that's what i'm trying to say so here we have some potentially geological or weathering uh, parallelness. Uh, the main point I want to make on these little islands is, uh, well, a whole, a significant portion of Ireland actually, is these, um, like all this uh, parceling or segmentation of the land. You see the polygons, these plots, they are, um, divided up by stone walls, like stacked stones. And I'll cover this more in my uh, uh, stone walls and geoglyphs or whatever it's called episode later when I do that. But uh, just pointing it out in the context of the other weird stuff we're looking at in Ireland right now. So you have an idea for the scale and the magnitude of uh, the walls and the patterns, this potentially being parallel patterns here as well. See that looks fairly mechanical, I would say. These parallel lines right here, there. So yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, I was gonna show this in a later video, but this uh, rectangular pool, it's like a fairly precise rectangle and it's indicative to me that this area is quasi-natural, quasi-artificial, if you follow me on that, or it's made, made to look like, made to have aspects of both with, uh, with some pretty blatant clues baked into it. So, rock walls covering the island, and yep, you're getting the extent of it. 
I hope those straight lines I was pointing out a minute ago aren't like image warping like this. This just looks like a warped image. So I don't, I wonder, uh, like over here, the ones I was saying look mechanical. Is that due to image warping? I don't think so. 2005, still looking fairly uh, straight. And then here we see some parallel lines. This is a good example of uh, what we call Machair in Scotland, M-A-C-H-A-I-R. So uh, you see these wavy lines underlying the area. And I'm sure we could find more of it if we looked. Um, maybe different years have different uh, contrast to them. But yeah, if we went up to Scotland real quick, we could find uh, plenty of that stuff. Uh, like uh, the Machair. This is a little straighter look to it, but this is the general idea. Some of it is wavy. And same thing in England as well, as we'll see. But let's go back to Ireland and finish finish that out. So where were we? Covering these rock walls on these islands. Okay, let's move on from these islands and go to this area just north of it. So, Machair pattern, likely, or just a oddly angular patchy parallel weirdness. Potentially with the stone walls, of course, and like worked over rock. Potentially. Hard to tell what that is. It's like boulders or something. Okay, anyways. Uh, rock walls covering countryside. Yep, so more more rock walls, but that's not really the topic of this video, so we will leave it. Um, and what else do we have? More stone walls, yeah, yeah. Half gouge across island, maybe, maybe. Uh, so we see these parallel lines here. Let me get a good view of it. Like that could be differential erosion, like geological stuff. We see these parallel lines like that. One, two, three. That's could be could be modern roads or trails or something like dirt road. No, this could be a natural crack, even just spitballing, considering different possibilities. And this, this kind of large scale streak is very similar to this. Uh, so it might be a natural thing if Ireland's natural. Um, so yeah. Path gouge, path gouge. Mm, I'll, I'll leave this stuff because it's not particularly germane to the conversation about parallel lines. I always say, like, I'll move on from this, and then I just stay on the topic. <laughs> so I'll say, okay, let's wrap it up right here. And then I spend, like, ten more minutes there. Um, this, maybe not, I don't know. Skip it. Uh, skip it. But you see these angular uh, somethings, and just the... Uh, 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 uh. the stone walls and herky-jerky patterns. Okay. Uh, yeah, another kind of path-like trajectory across here. Potentially, potentially. Walls, straight up, uh, skip that. Uh, nice. See, this is a decent example of a fine, like, almost mechanical looking crease here 
nice clean edge there and then a mechanical crease across which does look like it me starts to meander over here maybe it's here but like right there it's a little awkward I would say and then a similar thing there and if you look closely you can see like faint indications of like angularness to the rocks might just be the the way the image looks but yeah like this line this and this kind of like a parallel component almost right here as well here faintly but it's there so yeah all right and kind of continuing like here see these lines these large scale lines, they may, like the ones spanning the whole island, they, mm, yeah, they, they may be artificial. It's possible. There's a nice little set of parallelness. Not to mention stuff like this. Let's see, it's like, like right here, it's like, mm, I take that back, I don't know what that is. But plenty of indications of like faint parallel tickiness or angularness to the area. I mean, obviously, look at this. This is kind of like what we've seen in Papua and also in... Uh, a similar look to uh, Scott, uh, yeah, Scotland, the mature pattern, kind of a little, just a little goofy. Okay, let's keep moving. All right, I think I just got this. Yeah, I got that, got that. So linear groove this area is a little bit further north than where we were just looking but I'll show you again where we are roughly so uh, sorry here's Ireland and now we're looking on this portion of it so we have more of this patchy or um, quite derpy uh, s strangely uh, laid out lines and angles and curves pretty weird like this here parallel something so just quite derpy and this just jumped out at me, these parallel lines right here. Do you really think that's natural? Like this looks like natural over here. Uh, but do, like this right here, does that look natural? Could be, I mean, fudge. <clears throat> Still bugs me. And then this nice clean thing here. <laughs> This angle here. I suppose it could be modern, certainly. More angular crud. See this? Parallelness. This large scale parallelness. See, like the, the width of these grooves is about the same width as one of these buildings. So, uh, like between grooves it's like uh, I guess about 20 feet it's about the size of this barn um, so, uh, not I would say a non-trivial uh, effort here with these lines on grooves trail road um, 
So yeah, like these these long grooves may or may not be roads. Uh, they might even be a fence, so I should, probably shouldn't spend too much time on it. Uh, but like this parallel thing flanking it, and this one as well. Uh, possible strangeness. Even like little short, subtle stuff like this and this, this gives me pause. Yeah, even like this. I always doubt myself. I think it's healthy in most cases. This, this long pause is due to me <laughs> doubting my doubt of myself and wondering whether it's actually a good idea. <laughs> is that nerdy enough <clears throat> for you? Okay, uh, this area, yeah, so just giving you a look and more of it here. See the very strange angular look to everything? Very similar to that still image, this one, the first place we looked at in Ireland. So it's got this kind of similar look to it. Not identical, certainly, but just the weird uh, chick -chick -chick. That's a word, right? Chick -chick -chick. The scarred uh, landscape, which is worked over in angular and parallel patterns. So very, very strange angular patterns here. And hopefully you're getting a sense of the scale of it or the, the large area that it covers. And parallel lines, I guess we could say these are, this is a set of parallel lines, you know, and this gouge right here, whatever that is, just kind of like a groove, chilling. And it kind of, this road links up with it. And then oh, it starts, it continues over here. Huh. Could be any number of things. Continues. Why am I following this? Because I want to, okay. Yep. Parallel lines. Dirt, 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 dirt. Okay. Let's do a quick random zoom over here. See if there's anything similar. Yeah, pretty much. So like parallel lines, some faint angular stuff going on there. This like short linear scar. I could have made a whole episode on short linear tidbits. It's like little lone linear scars. Actually, yeah, we'll see. Let's go back to the images for a second. In England, there's, yeah, these two gouges right here. It's like, just like a short little scar. That's another type of phenomenon that we observe. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how to explain it, but I'm sure it's related to all this other crap. So yeah, that was just a random zoom. And I would say it yielded some interesting patterns. Right here, see this? line, faint, but present there, and then a faint line there, parallel to it, um, maybe here. Okay. So, so far in this video, we've covered this general area of Ireland. Let's just measure that real quick, get a quick sense of scale. Um, it is 167 miles or 270 kilometers this, that we've covered so far. And Ireland itself is what? 
about four, 400, 500 kilometers long, uh, 300 miles long. And then we see more of the stuff up here as well. It's just the only reason I don't have a whole lot of place marks in Ireland is just because it's kind of redundant. And also I haven't spent terribly long on Ireland itself. But we do see similar stuff up here and up here. Um, so yeah, let's look at some more of it. So this, yeah, here we have that same look like the little, almost like if you've ever seen some, like a new lawn, like a grass lawn uh, in, in like somebody's backyard or something. And it's like those strips of new grass that are laid out. Um, and it takes them a while to like blend together. Uh, but when they're first laid out, they kind of look like this, like uh, just new strips of grass. Um, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it looks like the land was just like laid out in a, in a roll, like a roll of land was just um, deposited here. Like flip, and like a bunch of them. Or like pieces of tape, pieces of scotch tape just plop down and we see more stuff here as well parallel stuff and then we also have these parallel lines uh, more of the this crap here whatever that is um, but yeah I rather suspect that even even these more uh, conventional looking or more well-ordered patterns that these may be part of it as well. There's a chance, I would say. So basically anywhere on this map that's the same color as this, it's gonna look similar. So you've got this, you've got this, and we've got this could be new. Hmm. It, I feel like it's too crisp to be old right here at least okay so it looked a little different in 2009 I think maybe yeah I think so anyways um, yeah these these lines are likely modern almost certainly right here Let's see if we see that yeah these kind of uh, this around the edge and this these could be from like multiple multiple resets if you're following the reset theory like multiple overwrites of history like this layer on top of this layer who knows <clears throat> but yeah just kind of a shit show of oddness everywhere Parallel, derp, 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 okay. Uh, range of patchy grid, parallel lines. So I'm kind of 50-50 on whether these ones are, these particular lines are modern or, or older or let's say conventional or unconventional. But oh, some, for some reason around the edge of these areas, we have this, this odd look to it. This, thing, this kind of thing going on. So the, these, I don't know if they were deliberately left behind or if the, uh, the tooling protocol was just um, kind of sloppy. I don't think we're dealing with sloppy people here, though. <laughs> I think we're dealing with geniuses. Oh, look at that. So, so we have this, which is here, and then in 2010, and then this stuff appears in 2019. Doesn't necessarily mean it's related. Could be anything. All right, I don't know. 
Hmm. What about like this? Looks like some of it's been lost due to erosion. That's what I would say. Okay. So that could be why there's multiple layers. Or it looks like, yeah, so this is receding. This ridge line is receding over time due to erosion, it looks like. See, back in 2010, it had more land to it. So it could be that these, um, these lips with the... Uh, uh, the land here that they're just slowly retreating uh, eroding away and that they used to extend much further seems somewhat likely hmm. <laughs> okay this one look at this one this one grows <laughs> 2005 to 2008 see that this one grows a little bit so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, there are these ones. Or maybe I, I have an inverted view of it. And this is the lower ground and this is the higher ground. I'm having trouble distinguishing that. But yeah, some change due to erosion, I believe. The, the edge of these, whatever this is. So yeah, actually, I think this might be the higher ground and this is the lower ground. So lower ground, higher ground. So I think that's what's going on. And, and then over time, this, yeah, so I had it backwards. Um, or I was thinking these were elevated above this terrain, but I think it's the opposite. Either way, though, it's still a little strange or just as strange, I would say. Okay, let's keep trudging, trudging along. Let's trudge up here to more parallel lines worked over. Look, sounds like a party. So basically, the same look, very similar look, I would say, as. This one in the south part of Ireland. Similar look, I think. Just kind of like angular chunky gouges and fairly clean creases or parallel grooves, what have you. Pattern soup or um, scribble almost. This one's almost resembling Machair. Uh, certainly artificial, no doubt about that. It's just what what process created it. Some nice little rectangles and the scale of it here. Doesn't look like anything's, any modern activity is going down, but just a bunch of parallel sets of parallel weirdness and uh, meandering haphazard patterns. Fantastic. And large scale again, really just kind of doing random zooms here. It's kind of a ubiquitous thing. So hopefully that gives you a good idea for it. And then this one is going to be similar to England. So these, I'll bring up the still image in a moment. These lines here, see if I can't get a better uh, contrast, an image with better contrast. But you see this landscape, these parallel lines here, these lines like working over the whole land um, like this right there, there's parallel lines right there, just everywhere basically right here. Uh, so 
a large area of this kind of thing. And that's very similar to England in the photos. So like this, this type of thing. And so, yeah, same type of deal. We'll go over here in a moment. Um, but yeah, there's this historical photos. Let's see if it's changed recently, if this is a recent phenomenon. 2001. Not really seeing any changes right off the bat. 2001, 2019, basically looks the same. How about these, this area? What about, yeah. Any changes? 2001, I would say it looks pretty much the same at first glance. So, uh, landscape is odd and just a random zoom here seeing if i can't find anything else yep more of these weird parallel offshoots somewhat reminiscent also of the one moment one moment of this type of thing in new jersey all along the coast so uh these parallel and this you can make a good argument that this is water management or coastal management or drainage or erosion control or even some type of wild wild crafted um, coastal farming or something like that uh, but here we're not anywhere near the water yet we are seeing somewhat similar hallmarks in my opinion not not identical certainly but there's some similarities for sure and okay i think i just had a couple things left in ireland and let me take a drink of water here Okay, um, so there's this very long straight line. Never seen those before. That's a new one. Um, so I think this is it continuing. Let me zoom out. Where is it? Okay, so let's follow this both ways. Let me try and find a year with a better uh, contrast. This one's decent. So this long straight line, faintly continuing, and you see it more in this photo. Almost tempted to say it's tire tracks off-roading or something. Perhaps, perhaps. Let's keep following it. This way, here, here, just kind of a dark streak, whatever it is. Keeps going. Dirt road, maybe, I don't know. Sorry. Veers off here to this side. Some parallel component to it. And then it continues here I guess I mean I don't know why I'm following this I guess I'm just trying to figure out what it is another straight line there there see how this area is kind of wonky some angular weirdness here here as well kind of derpy all right, area is warped looking and artificial. So, yeah, similar to what we've seen 
further south in Ireland so far in this video. Um, even this, like I'd be tempted to say this is like a modern artificial road or something, but this might just be the, the strange terraforming. Er, 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 er. So, how about that? And maybe even these lines here, which seem to curve. There, maybe. Okay, fairly clean line there. Okay, so yeah, you get the idea. Ireland is weird. That's, I think that's all we're gonna cover on Ireland for now. Um, let me check out the time. Uh, I don't think we're doing very good on time here. I think I've yapped for quite a while now, maybe an hour. But uh, I do want to show, give a good scroll to England, and then a brief look at Scotland, or potentially brief, but most likely long and drawn out. Uh, okay. I don't think I want to spend too much time on southern England, mostly because I haven't looked there too much or here. This, okay, this is a decent example of angular patchiness, kind of looking like Bolivia almost. Like it's pretty faint, but you see it. Like, I'll go to the image, I think it looks, well, where is it? like this type of thing in Bolivia. Maybe even this type of thing. So it kind of looks like that. Similar-ish. This looks like a little kid's drawing of a teepee or something. Or a little hut. Okay. Um. It's not the reason I came here. I got distracted. I got distracted. That's a first. <laughs> oh, crud. What are we going to do with you and me and this and stuff? Uh, bear with me. I'm just deciding which areas to take a good look at. Mm -hmm. So, shallow chunks tooled out, whole surface. I guess just like these faint little mm. may not be a great example. Yeah, you kind of see some angular Oddness going on potentially. Yeah, I mean, I, s I see some possible indications of paths and lines and stuff. Like this guy, this short little n notch. These parallel guys. All right, um, but the best examples are up in northern England, at least where I've seen Wales. I don't think I'm going to cut. I think this is Wales. I don't think I'm going to. I think I already showed that anyways. So parallel marks. That looks promising. Kind of, yeah, like a large scale parallel something on the landscape going this way, like you see this, 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 this. It might be natural. I mean, then we also have possible little faint tick marks going the other way. Not to mention this kind of blotchy look and the angular blotchiness. These parallel mounds or grooves or whatever they are. See these? 
this is a pretty good example over here. So the idea is that um, just a vast, vast area looks like this. It has these, these parallel lines all over it. Yep, parallel lines. Sets of parallel lines. He wasn't kidding. Yeah, so you're seeing it, aren't you? Some type of something. Artificial something. If you think, um, I'd be curious, if you think this is a, a conventional, um, has a conventional explanation, I'd like to hear it. Uh, so maybe leave it in the comments. I mean, I could think of a few, but... I don't put too much stead in them. Here we're seeing like tire tracks, obvious modern stuff. All right, offshoots look more natural here. Um, see like we have a straight, very straight offshoot and then we have a more meandery offshoot of this little river. So same thing here, it's looking kind of natural and then uh, a little straight and then kind of natural. And these are a little, see, they, they kind of become straight and mechanical along portions of these little offshoots. So like, and then, so kind of cartoonish rivery and lots of, Miscellaneous parallel lines, the whole landscape. Okay, so that's that's right here. There's a whole bunch more up here in uh, northern England, I guess, like up here. I suck at geography. What countries? Oh, yeah, Scotland's up here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, up towards the border with Scotland, we've got, uh, yeah, this, where is the border? Whatever, I'm not sure. But so this general area, take these off. Parallel lines, all of Northern England, basically. So, yep, and yep. Kind of like shit showy as well. It's just a little weird and wonky. That's a British word, right? Wonky. They use that one. What, what else? Nutter. They say nutter. Are you a nutter? Okay, so, I mean... I, I think I'm going to try and be fairly brief on this just because it's overkill at this point. More parallel lines, just this nice, uh, beautiful rectangles, and this one here, nice rectangles, somethings. And then don't forget the stone walls and also the uh, stone circles that cover much of Ireland. Not to mention the um, Stonehenge and uh, like the whatchamacallits, um, crap, what are they called? Menhirs or like uh, stones, strange stones. And then I think castles are a part of this whole thing as well. That's one I haven't spent too much time on yet, but uh, I will touch on it more in the future. Hold me to it. Parallelness. Some of this may be modern. Hard to say how much. And whether they retrofitted from existing patterns. Or here's some fainter, wavier ones like that. You see? Alright. Uh, 
Let's check out some more circular mound here. Oh, this is, I think I have a picture of this one. How cool. I think this, this has a name, it's like something ring fort. Um, well, whatever. Or maybe it's just similar to the one I was looking at, but you see these lines here, which I'm saying is part of the same deal, which created these mounds. I don't think this is like a ritual site or, I mean, maybe it was used for rituals, but it wasn't created by anything different than the thing that created this and this and this, if, I think. So stone circles everywhere. Um, and yeah, the stone mounds or the earthworks, works, earth works, like this ring thing down here, whatever this is. And then the parallel lines, the uh, the strange arrangement of all of it, just the haphazardness of it. And the question is, what does it all add up to? This nice little thing, uh, not just stone circles, but stone uh, squares as well, I guess. So this is like my chair, I guess. Like, similar to Scotland. Nice, whatever these are. Could, well, these dots could be modern something. Who knows? Um, this area of parallel lines continues. Where else? Got these ones. Nice little set there. Dirt to dir. Dirt to dir. And these faint ones as well, like that, that, that. So in this direction here, we have some faint parallel lines. Um, these, like right here, um, kind of looking at some type of parallel maneuver, yeah. Dirt, 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 perhaps. More shizzle. So I'll uh, reiterate my best, best hypothesis at this point, which is that uh, some type of algorithm went apeshit on Earth's surface, um, whether by accident or by on purpose. And then the agenda behind it is uh, up for debate, obviously. Um, well, all of this is, but... Um, The agenda behind it. Here you see some wavier ones. Yeah, I think I had a still image of this spot. Pretty uh, goofy area. Like little partial mounds and a partial circle here. Uh, little earthworks. Oh, I just noticed this cross. That might be modern. Or who knows? Um. Yeah, very extensive. So I was talking about the, the big picture and my best hypothesis. I think, yeah, it's al at least algorithm assisted. I don't think someone just did this like randomly. I think it's very calculated. Um, the, the derpy gibberish is a very calculated type of gib uh, gibberish. And I think it uses heterogeneity of feature type as part of its formula. So the, a stone circle or a stone wall is quite different than a parallel line on the Earth's surface. Um, I mean, I feel, mm. 
So maybe they just want to create a bunch of different types of patterns as part of whatever they're doing. Um, you know, a backdrop for their games or something. I think it's the illusion of a certain type of past. Um, like, it's, it's like a frame set. This, the whole cumulative effect of the landscape and the, the stone circles and everything, it might be like a, um, a frame set, like to uh, set the tone or the mood for the civilization which will ensue. So like they want someone wants to play a particular game on Earth and so they they tune their dials very specifically um, on whatever type of advanced computer or device they have and then it says okay to play that game you will need this type of perception of history you will need um, this type of um, mindset and uh, this type of blind spot in the human population and blah, 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 um, and also you'll need this type of physical landscape. Um, I'm pretty much just spitballing and, and guessing here. It's really uh, just guesswork. Um, I'm just trying to deduce what might explain all this and like the reason behind it. I think the, the why of the whole situation is actually, it may be pretty easy. The why is for anything is basically just to procure more good uh, or more awesome experiences for yourself and your, your party and to stave off the bad experiences. So like more good, less bad is um, basically why we do anything. More pleasure, less pain. So someone I think maybe they wanted a, a type of playground or something I don't know that parallel lines necessarily adds up to that and you know what, you know what I mean like I also think like just like for gambling purposes it would be funny if <laughs> if people were just like sitting watching us take this all in and like just making little bets for fun on how they think we'll perceive all this. Like you just make a bunch of nonsense and then you, uh, <laughs> you just uh, check out what, uh, what people's responses are just for your amusement maybe. And that's uh, the people in the know, I guess, whoever that is. <clears throat> um, oh, I was going to say one more thing. Hopefully, though, as we're scrolling around, you're getting enough of a sense of the scale and uh, variety, a little bit of the, all this uh, parallel lines business. See, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Up, oh, I'm gonna do parallel for a bit, and then this. So fairly haphazard. Um, I'm just gonna scroll around for a second while I try and think of what I was trying to say. So just hang tight. Oh, I was gonna say um, the shock test idea, the hypothesis that maybe this whole effort, this whole output, this whole weirdness including archaeology and um, human affairs and all kinds of stuff, maybe it's like a big shock test just to um, see how we respond or how whoever responds, how the animals respond, you know, just to see what type of situation arises, like an experiment, basically, just a science experiment. Um, like just print out a bunch of gibberish very strate strategic kind um, in efforts to answer some type of curiosity or question about how uh, certain types of life forms will interact with that. So like if Earth is a farm, 
then uh, maybe all of this is an experiment uh, just to, to learn about us. Maybe not just humans, but animals and whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Parallel lines everywhere. Okay, and then I think that's enough of that area. Uh, let's see. A lot of Scotland has my chair, as it's called, these um, parallel lines, these wavy parallel lines, straight ones, wavy ones, squiggly ones, and it's basically underlies the whole landscape. And that's the gist of it. So, uh, scrolling around here, hopefully you're getting a feel for it. And you might say it's just farming, but mm, in these, but I, I don't think so. And I'll try, I'll try and uh, keep it somewhat brief here. So I guess we're done with England now and we're on to Scotland and yeah, see these parallel lines here? This isn't farming, bro. <laughs> uh, this is like uneven terrain, first of all. And it's just like, and it doesn't look like natural geological layers in my humble opinion. Like this, this for sure. Here's more of it. These clean grooves, and then also the more shit showy or wonky, derpy, um, angular soup type haphazard patterns. Like just kind of blazing around, nice angles and stuff. So. Sets of parallel lines and I think this is Scotland as well. Yeah, see here? So there you have it. Parallel squoogs. Squoogs. I pronounced that fairly well on my first try. Squoogs. Um, I mean, that's I. That could just be my conclusion for all of this. Um. Uh. Huh. <laughs> huh. Like, see how this. Uh, Got this ridge here, or ditch, whatever it may be, and here, and here. It's as if these are artificial, like sculpting paths. So this river looking fairly natural, right? Right, right? But then, like, if you look as it goes to here, then it angles. And mm, certainly could be a mixture of artificial and natural patterns, and a mixture of older stuff and modern stuff, but I, I think that the overarching um, explanation for, for most of the patterns we're seeing is some type of way out there weird explanation. So, and yeah, some weird uh, like rectangular or circular type stone dealy bobbers. Wavy, wavy. Mm-hmm. And getting redundant here, so I apologize for that. And there's much more. I mean, we could really check out anywhere. <laughs> like here's a place like up way, way more north in Scotland. And this I could see being modern. Either one. I could see this being modern or the uh the weird stuff. 
So it's not every square, it's not evident every square inch, I would say. Mm. Possible weird parallel tick marks here, fairly subtle, possible. And even like these faint parallel lines here. So you don't have to crook your neck. Possibly like even here, maybe. Could be natural. All right. Um, what to say, where to go. Should probably wrap it up in a minute. And let's do a random zoom or two just to draw things out. Maybe some parallelness there, perhaps. Difficult to say for sure. How about like over here? Yeah, I would say this is somewhat matching the, the angular weirdness. Derpy, verp, verp, verp. Yeah, so there's that. Some parallel lines here. Yes, plenty of it here. Modern industrial stuff, I don't know. Don't know. Here, yeah, so this is up in Scotland. So we up here, so that's how far to the bottom of Ireland. The first ex oh, crappy. First example we were looking at was down there. So it's about five hundred miles away. The one in Ireland, again, like this. These scars, like parallel scars or scrapes or ditches, grooves, whatever you want to call it. And then very similar up here, all the way up in northern Scotland, where were we just now, like right here. Um, okay. I don't know if I found the exact area, but see similar scrapey, angular, abrupt patterns going on I think yeah like uh, it's pretty faint but maybe there possibly like this I had a better example a second ago. Well, I mean, you get the idea. Another random zoom here. This area is certainly kind of patchy and blotchy. A little angular. Yes, yeah, see some lines like that. This one. Okay, and let's leave Scotland and um, just a, a couple hours ago I found some stuff even further up north in uh, the Faroe Islands, I guess, way up here. Um, what is this, Greenland or something? Alright, anyways, uh, over here. So similar idea. So like we have these parallel scrapey marks, whatever this is. Some like faint ones there. Um, maybe even here. Certainly right here. Maybe even here. And is it is it these people doing this? Maybe. 
looking for more examples here, perhaps. Um, I'm not seeing it as pronounced examples. Those may even have been modern stuff that I just pointed out. But they may not be. So, uh, we don't know. Doing a couple of random zooms here, looking for anything similar. Coolio. Um, some fairly prominent, like this long straight groove here. Ugh. And then slightly parallel or fairly parallel lines here. Parallel to this. Like, and this kind of parallel tick mark almost. Even this right here, straight for a while. And maybe curves. But like this guy right here. Just a nice, clean, straight, groovy here as well. Some of these maybe trails or whatever. This is a little... Mm. Man, I don't know. Might be modern. This. These. Possibly. Okay, here looking a little more. Mm. I was going to say crisp, but I could see it being natural or artificial. These guys go in here. Okay, uh, Faroe Islands. Not 100% sure on, but just worth acknowledging just in case you want to do extra credit and go look for yourself and see if you can find anything. Um, some possible angular patchiness, very faint. Okay, so I think we're done with this episode. We saw plenty of parallel lines and associated phenomena bunch of stone circles and weird earth mounds and stuff and thanks for watching sign off <laughs>